Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, thank you for being here today. It's good to see you again. I understand you were in Minnesota last week, and I apologize I wasn't able to join you, but I'm glad you had a chance to sit and talk with uh, Minnesota leaders in energy technology and innovation. And looking through this budget proposal, I'm happy to see that the administration has prioritized innovation and renewable energy. Those are my priorities as well, and I'd like to ask you a few questions in some pretty specific areas uh, at the risk of being uh, sounding parochial, but I, I think this has wider implications and it speaks to loan guarantee programs, and I know that you may not be able to speak precisely to um, these particular instances, but one of the companies represented at the round table that you're at was, uh, in Minnesota, was uh, Sage Electrochromatics, and uh, Sage has developed these energy efficient windows, as you know, uh, which work on uh, s s solar voltaic cells to, they darken during the, uh, the summer to keep the heat out and they lighten up during the uh, winter to bring the energy in. And actually they lead the world in this technology and they're looking to expand its facility in Faribault, Minnesota, which will create 150 high tech uh, manufacturing jobs. Now, Sage got a $72 million loan guarantee under the Section 1703 program, but as you know, this requires the company to pay a credit subsidy fee to offset the government's risk for issuing the loan guarantee. Uh, for Sage, this will cost an estimated 15 to $25 million and is standing in the way of expanding the plant. I'd like to get this credit subsidy fee waived for SAGE so that the project can move forward. Um, in this budget proposal, the administration is requesting $200 million uh, from Congress to cover credit subsidy fees for 1703 loan guarantees. And I was wondering whether the department would consider making this retroactive for companies like SAGE, which are you know, ready to go uh, for creating jobs. Well, I'm not sure about uh the authorities we might have are making anything retroactive. I think this is m mostly in, in Congress. But let me speak more broadly to um, uh, the issue here. I'm very familiar with the Sage product, and uh, quite frankly, um, it was uh, tested in uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. The lab that I was director of was part of that uh, integral part of that testing. So, and, I, and we think it's a it, it, it's a good thing. But but I don't want to talk specifically about Sage. The I most understand. The most important thing I want to say is in, in the new uh, budget proposal, that was limited to renewable energy, uh, but we are asking that it be more broadened so it would also include energy efficiency. Right. Because energy efficiency, you can either make clean energy or you can save energy, and, and we think they're equally valuable. In many instances, the saving energy is, is a low-cost option to make our infrastructure much, run much more efficiently. So the new request uh, in our 12th budget is is actually to allow credit subsidies for energy efficiency as well as uh, renewable energy. That's good. I like that. Uh, I think uh, I want to move on to the RPE program, uh, which is so critical for new technologies. RPE reminds me of DARPA, the Defense uh, Advanced Research Program Agency, which uh, created the Internet. And how did that work out? That was good, right? I've been told the internet has had a profound influence on uh, the American economy. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so um, <laughs> what I worry about, I, I really, uh, I saw recently that a group funded by RPE licensed its new battery technology uh, to General Motors for use in the Chevy Volt. Uh, in the years ahead, technologies like this are vital to help us reduce carbon emissions and use less oil. Uh, and I was glad to see that the president requested $550 million for RPE. Unfortunately, some of uh, in the House have proposed funding only $50 million for the rest of 2011. My question is, if we were to extrapolate and follow the House proposed RPE budget for fiscal year 2012, what would you anticipate the impacts to be on development of new technologies and on the companies that would eventually sell them to the commercial market? Uh, it would be a very significant setback. As you know, the RPE is a new program. 
that was started a year and a half ago. Uh, what is already, as mentioned, as I mentioned before, um, the investments in the first round companies uh, that we have now a year, year and a quarter, year and a half of experience has been remarkably good. Uh, we give three or four million dollars, two million dollars to a company. Uh, they go around and do the necessary research. With those new research results, they are able to raise money in the private sector. That's a significant four to one ratio. This is exactly what we want to do. We want to leverage uh, the precious federal dollars to really stimulate industries to create these new things to, so that we will remain a leader in innovation uh, in the energy technologies. Uh, at a budget of $50 million, um, a lot of these spectacular people that we have been able to recruit over the last year, these are people who've come out of industry, people who've come out of academia, who are in the prime of their creativity, who are, and it's been noted, uh, many of these people are truly outstanding scientists and engineers who, who are willing to sacrifice their own lives and families and, you know, um, income to come work for the federal government. Uh, those people, some of them will just simply have to go home. It will deflate a lot of things because they, if you don't give them money to manage, they say, what am I doing here? I'll go back to MIT, I'll go back to Intel, I'll go back to wherever. And so uh, it's, it, uh, uh, to use the technical word, it'll be a real downer. Uh, <laughs> and, and the opportunities in the United States in order to get with industry widely regards uh, and venture capital in, widely regards as a very exciting. I'm in total agreement and uh, it would be a bummer. Um, and uh, if we are going to out innovate the rest of the world, uh, this is, uh, the, the RPE is so important. And I uh, just would, you know, ask people to think about what would have happened if we hadn't had DARPA and that DARPA had never created the, uh, the architecture for the internet and what the loss of that would have been. So thank, yes. you. Okay. thank you very much uh, for your sir, testimony. 